Welcome to the Philips Strand Lighting video tutorial series for the 500ml lighting console. The 500ml, built for moving lights. This video targets working with groups and presets. So groups are meant to be a programming aid and are a quick way to access specific collections of fixtures. Now this is opposed to the theatrical definition of groups as they do not store any values. The 500 ml groups only store information about fixture selection and selection order. So recording a group. The first step is select the fixtures that you would like to store in the group. And then for recording, you have a couple of options. You can either use the com traditional command line syntax to record a group of typing the keys, record, group, number, enter. For a graphical solution, you can press record and then the group key, which will open the group display on the internal monitor and allow the user to select a location to store the desired group by pressing on an open group button. From there, you can type in a name or take the default name, which will reference the information from patch. So this just goes over what we've discussed, the first you select the fixtures you would like to store, then press and hold the record key and the group button. Uh, this display is showing you the window that will appear on the internal monitor, and then you would select a destination item on the screen. Recording can also be com completed by selecting an open group after pressing record on the external monitor on the group pool. This can be accomplished with an external mouse or using the touch function if this is a touch screen. Now selecting a group. If you press and hold the open key and hit the group button, the group's display will appear on the internal monitor. You can also just simply access the group from the group pool on the external monitor. Now there is also, alternatively, a command line solution where you can type group number enter on the keypad to select a group. Working with presets. Presets aid to simplify the programming process by allowing user-defined elements to be created and then used as a toolkit to build your cues. Once you create a preset, such as moving lights pointing at a particular position on stage, you may recall those settings at any point and record them in the queues. The biggest advantage of using presets is that they are only stored in the queues as a reference rather than having the parameter values that the preset contains. If you later decide to change the preset, all the queues that have been recording using this preset are also changed. This is especially useful if the position of a set piece on stage is moved and moving lights have been programmed to light it. The preset can be updated once to accommodate the change rather than reprogramming the change in the ever light queue that lights the set piece. So preset pools are subdivided into five different categories. You have the all preset pool where no filtering will take place. So this will encompass all parameter data from the fixtures that are selected. Then you have the intensity pool, where only intensity parameters will be recorded. You have the focus pool, which is all about position information, so only positional parameters will be recorded. Color, where only the color parameters will be recorded. And beam, where all beam parameters, which would include gobos, prisms, shutters, animation desks, zoom, iris, edge, everything that affects the beam will be recorded. Furthermore, only attributes for fixtures that have values will be recorded. So anything that has default information will not be stored. So recording a preset. First set up a look you would like to store into a preset. Then press and hold the record key and press the preset button. This will open up the preset pool and allow you to select a destination. The command line solution is you can just type record preset number enter. At the end of either of these it will bring up the ability to name the preset. Now recording an intensity focus color or beam 
preset is very similar. First set up a look you would like to store, then press and hold the record and then you can hit any of the attribute family buttons of intensity, focus, color, or beam. Or you could stick with the preset window and at the bottom you have five buttons that say all IFCB for intensity, focus, color, and beam. So you can change your preset pages there. Once you're in the correct page, then you just select the desired item on the screen. Command line solution. You can always do record intensity number enter, record focus number enter, and the same with color and beam. At the end, the naming screen will be brought up to name this item. Selecting a preset. Again, select the fixtures you want the preset to be recalled for. Then if you need to, open and preset to open up the preset window. And now you just simply select the appropriate preset that you need. Or alternatively, the command line solution is you could type preset number enter. For selecting an intensity focus color or beam preset, it's very similar as well. Select the fixtures you want the preset to be recalled for, then press open and the appropriate attribute family key, or alternatively, you can just type intensity number enter, focus number enter, same with color and beam, to assign the preset to the selected fixtures. Thanks very much for watching this training video on the 500 ML console. Stay tuned for more training videos.